honestly, there's so much going on that I just can't, I don't know. It's really hard to put into words how crucial and historical this moment in our life is, especially when it, sorry, especially when it comes to COVID-19, social distancing, you name it, especially when bands are, are the ones most affected, which I think is unfair to them because they're losing a lot of money. And three concerts I was supposed to go to in April are canceled. So that should pretty much tell you what I'm actually referring to. Anyways, um, one of my favorite bands of all time, Orbit Culture, just released another single and a music video to accompany it. And it's from their upcoming album, Nija, which is supposed to be due, according to Revolver Magazine, it's supposed to be out this summer. I hope it's sooner now that we're all in quarantine. But yeah, here we go. Here's my official reaction, I guess you can call it, to The Shadowing by Orbit Culture. Three... Two, one. Give me a second. What's going on? What the? Why did it? What? Oh my god. This thing's gonna piss me off already. Alright. Three, two, one. Oh my god. I'm so excited for this. I already heard the song, but. This... <laughs> oh shit. Let's see. I got a feeling they're using seven strings. I mean, because already, they're already using baritone tuning and eight and drop A with their solo six string guitar, so. My suggestion. I got a feeling this might be the last music video we might see. So, is, it a is this a cliffhanger to Reaper? It might be, but how does this tie in? So much vibes. We have the Gojira vibes, the Lamb of God vibes, Metallica vibes. And then there's you know, the whole Gothenburg thing going on with their sound too, because I mean they're from Sweden. But the song's a banger though. Because, okay, they're using six string guitars in the music video, so would that, what would that entail? What the hell? I got For a second there, I thought they were capturing part of the. one of the music videos they released for Red Bomb. It looked like it. I'm trying to see how they're using six string guitars. But so far, I fucking love this. It's simple, but it fucking, it's heavy as fuck. I feel like if there's more music videos, that might be a good thing, but... Yeah, oh shit. This does tie in with the, with the other two, for sure, though. Ties in with the song, with the music video too. I love how they go from heavy and then they finish out with melodic and heavy because in the middle they go to like ambient in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah. So is this like the last music video? Because according to Revolver, the, the music video is supposed to come out in um, the, music, the, the new album is supposed to come out in the summer. It's very melodic, very melancholic at the end. They always have done that with Rosin as well. I love them, man. They have some phonic, they have, every, they have a lot of things going on with their sound, dude. With the rebirth, they had the, um, you know, you know how metalcore bands use uh, electronic elements. They had that going on, but like this one's like, <sighs> so what happened to the character from Rebirth that was murdered? Is she the one that? I'm still trying to understand the story with, with, with you know with these three music videos.
for using their six when you target them. I don't know. Yeah, I can't really tell. They have to start using. Yeah, because Fredrick's using his four stringing bass, so one could assume. I don't know. They probably recorded with seven string guitars in the, for the new album. So my verdict? Fucking heavy as shit. I mean, people, of course, people are going to be complaining on the comment section because there is stuff that, that was about, which is Wilderness OCD. Yeah, basically. Trilogy ending the shadowing video. So trying to understand what the hell the other music video went. But... Regardless, um, there's people saying that the quality is bad, but pro that's probably because of YouTube stupid shit going on. Because, you know, YouTube has changed as a platform, and it doesn't benefit at all for those small YouTube channels, for bands, or, you know, you name it. But yeah, I just want to know anyone else's thoughts. Even comment down below what you guys think about Orbit Culture's new music video. I think it's fucking heavy as fuck, as it should be. And it's melodic, and that's what it deserves. Swedish Rising Stars channel, Grujira Behemoth. I do hear the behemoth and the symphonic sounding, so they have a lot of shit going on with their sound. And they're making it unique, and they're making it their own sound. Which is why, you know, I'm a huge fan of this band since, um... Not even since, um, In Media's Wrist, their first album, but since Rosin. Because In Media's Wrist, they were, you know, of course, they were a group. I don't know. They really struck me with uh, Rosin. Which is a Japanese word for something, I don't know. I know Nensha is a Japanese word for something as well. Ninja is as well. But yeah, my verdict is a uh, 10 out of 10. I don't know. I'm just being. I don't know if they're being too generous, but I'm just a huge fan of the band and will be for a long time. Hopefully, I get to see them perform or perform with them on stage. I don't know. But other than that, um, yeah, it's a fucking amazing single. And I just waiting for uh, A and P and um, Galactic Criminal for their reactions and see what they think. But yeah, this is all I got so far. Yeah, I don't know. It's been depressing these past couple of days. But like, you know, every Friday, every Thursday night to Friday. New music always comes out, so that does bring a smile to my face. And plus, I made an I made a new friend over the past two weeks. That this cold quarantine thing has been going on. So, yeah, there's a positive to everything. Wait, it's been Hunter Forsberg. I'm kind of it's allergies. I'm okay though. I'm okay. Um, I'm thinking of getting clinic, uh, you know, medically checked just because, just so you know, I, I get this fear away from me because I worry more about my loved ones than I do about myself. So, yeah, can't wait for Nija, you guys. You guys rock. And yeah, there's, there'll be more videos coming soon for sure because I've just been furloughed or laid off. I don't have a, I'm not gonna have a job in like in two weeks. In two weeks, I'm gonna be out of a job because of this COVID shit. So we'll see what happens. There it is.